work. Whew. There's some music playing on this TV, it looks like. I'm going to do my little check see in the clear. So this is the hotel. This is like a classic New York hotel room size, but super nice. Love it, love it, love it. Cool. Turn on some lights. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. And then I'm gonna go get some coffee. So this is the Luke. I feel like it's very on brand for New Yorker. Like the big shoulder pads, thanks hubby. <laughs> for the free jacket. And I'm back with my crazy hair. Um, in the last vlog I did explain how I, how I, what I, what tool I use and I linked it, but I'll go ahead and link it in this description box as well so you guys can see it. I'm gonna go grab a coffee because I didn't have any because I thought I would in the airport and then I thought I, and I didn't. I was like, ah, get on the plane. And then I went on the plane and they were like, it's broken. I was like, no. I'm gonna visit an Apple store because I wanna pick up a battery pack. And I really just want to walk around, so this gives me an excuse to do something. I've mentioned before they're not worth buying, but for this trip I want it, so I'm gonna get it. Um, I've already unpacked everything and hung stuff up so that there's no wrinkles. I don't always do that, but if I'm staying for a couple of nights, I like to do it just to make me feel a little bit less homesick. Like it feels a little bit less like obvious that I'm staying in a house. I don't know. wandered around into Dior and Louis Vuitton. I just looked around. Dior actually usually does not interest me at all, but they had this green Rose Duvant uh, bracelet and also necklace, pe like pendant. That was really, really, really pretty. Um, side note, you can vlog on the streets of New York City and nobody cares. <laughs> like nobody gives a rat's ass. Whereas anybody, anywhere else, somebody would probably stop me and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> but that's just the way it goes here. Um, I can see why there are so many like New York City um, vloggers, because it's just so easy to just pick it up and go. I, honestly, I, I haven't stayed here in this part of town for a long time, and it's so cute. It's very like Sex in the City-ish a little bit, very neighborhoody. I'm sitting here in Father Fagan Park on Prince and sixth and I'm, I'm just not ready to go to the room yet i'm having too much fun outside just walking the city and i wore the right shoes for the job because these are super comfortable and i'm just enjoying this part of the city which i really haven't ever explored like i i really haven't like it's just so colorful and quaint and these like single one way one lane streets that are so quiet and you could just take all sorts of beautiful pictures in front of and I'm just loving it. It's beautiful and great weather and the lady who checked me into the hotel was extraordinarily rude. <laughs> but that's okay. But like look at the look at the scenery behind me. It's like so beautiful. So pretty. Look there. Can you see that? In 
the hotel room now and I've just chilled for about an hour or so and I really haven't done anything except import the footage from this um, camera but I've run into a predicament <laughs> you know how I just went to the Apple store I did get the um you saw it already but the MagSafe battery pack which again I don't I'm not recommending I'm not saying you need to get it Ooh, the light is good here <laughs> finally this room has no light so it's um it's good to get some I don't recommend getting this but when you're traveling and especially to New York the cell signal just goes chaotically it's it just the battery drains so fast because you're traveling a you don't know where you're going so as you're walking you're doing like turn by turn directions to like I was doing it to my airpod headphones and I thought oh, okay well I have plenty of time I have like several hours to charge my phone um and I'm glad I got this because I came back to the hotel with this and this has only 16% battery life so they definitely don't like stock it up for you if you're like in an emergency situation but, like it's not charging very fast like even when I take all of this off something about this cable that I recently got but I actually suspect the culprit is that not the plug but the little adapter i think it's losing some some current there or some power there so i have gone up like 10 percent in an hour and a half and it should be fully charged by now so i'm like ah do i go back there and get a new cable i can't this is the one cable i have i normally bring several cables but i was like Psh, i got the one and done right i got i got the thing but that it's not working today. It's decided not to work. Maybe you should try plug it into a different outlet. Maybe the outlet is a problem. Maybe everyone and their dog has plugged into here. I don't know, we're gonna try that. Let's try plugging into this one. The light is not good anymore. Okay, there we go. I ended up walking to the Apple store again and ah, they got me good, they got me good. I got the charging cable I got. I was like, I hope that's the one I need. Um, but it was like a brisk walk, like half a mile there and half a mile back. And I've done some steps today. Shall we check how many, how many steps have I walked today? but it's so amazing outside. I've really enjoyed the photography and the videography of just the cherry blossoms and mm, I just love it. I'm loving it. It's not logging my steps. Sadness. That is a travesty. Why has it not been logging my steps? What the f <laughs> And I'll show you what else I got. I got the two meter one, which is like essential. And then I got I mean, <laughs> did you expect anything less? I've had my eye on this for a while. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. <laughs> this is the green, like emerald green leather. Um, and it will, since this one's not MagSafe, it won't hold on my MagSafe, my new MagSafe. It's like if you buy a, a Musa muffin. If, have you ever seen that movie, video, book, whatever it's called? I am going to leave. I'm going to head to the hotel. Tell the other hotel that I originally stayed at. I guess they're shooting right outside of it, so I'm going to I'm going to meet the team to shoot some content for promotion for our live live show tomorrow, live shopping show. Y'all, views. Look at these views. Oh, stunning. We're heading to heading to dinner. It's called Mondo. Okay, guys, I am back in the hotel room. Hi. <laughs> I just had dinner with some of the team from Luxury Promise at a place called Mamo. Mamo. It was like an Italian restaurant and it was delicious. So now I'm going to clean up my room. <laughs> There's stuff on the bed. I don't know. 
what that is. And then I'm gonna wash my face and I'm gonna put on my lily silk pajamas because you know I brought them. And I'm gonna curl up and watch some TV and scroll on my phone and fall asleep. And then I'm also going to look for some brunch places for tomorrow because I am gung-ho about getting everybody together for brunch tomorrow. Um, we've got a busy day. Uh, I've got a 4 p.m. live show. And then I don't know what we're doing for dinner, but I know that Sabrina is back in town because she was in D.C. today. And she'll be back in town tonight. And then we are... I mean, the next day, I think I'm gonna be going and hanging around with another YouTuber and Instagrammer. I do that, and um, I'm going to see you in the morning. because I've never been. All the times I've been to New York, never made it out to Central Park, so I'm gonna do that. And then um, I think I'm gonna go eat at this little cafe behind me. It looks almost like a little French restaurant called Amaranth. So excited to check that out. Oh, this place is beautiful. <laughs> Park, um, Fifth Avenue, Madison Avenue, Park Avenue type of area. And I'm getting ready for my live show, which uh, hopefully by now you will have checked out. But if you haven't, then you can check it out on the Luxury Promise website and see if anything is still available. Um, so I did hit up the Hermes uh, Madison because Hermes is my favorite store. And um, I got some things that I think I probably could have gotten in Houston, but I think it's kind of special to get something in a different city and make contacts there. So I met this lovely essay there and we just had a ball, we were vibing. I did request a couple of bags. It was just like, you know, they're really limited. And I said, that's okay, just I'm here until this time. So let me know if anything comes up, you know? So, uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna hold my breath, okay? We got some pretty amazing stuff, guys, because um, everything I asked for, she was like, oh my God, you're so lucky we have this. Because she'll like go in to the closet, check, and she'll be like, you're never gonna believe. Now I'm gonna go get ready for this live, and I'm gonna head over to the Dominic Hotel and uh, shoot a live show for Luxury Promise. Heading into the lobby, seeing the courtyard Marriott. And so it turns out that more people were tuned in to this live show than any of the others that they've done in New York, which is amazing. Um, so thank you to anybody who followed me. Um, would you let me know in the comments below if you follow me and if you watched because you um, follow me? That would be amazing. I would love to hear that. I would love to know. Thanks so much. I feel so New York. I'm like carrying this, like power walking. Just feel like ultimate New Yorker. <laughs> I would love to know how many of you watching are from New York, live in New York. If you're from New York, where do you live now? Did you move to Texas like everybody else? I am hot. That was a lot of talking. <laughs> 
But there were some gorgeous pieces. I, you know, it was gorgeous. You know, you always wonder like if the people that you follow online are going to be exactly the same as they are, um, you know, online in real life. And I can 100% say, like, cause you never know if they're gonna be worse. Are they gonna be like rude or standoffish? Or are they gonna be even nicer? And Sabrina is exactly the same way that she presents herself online as she is in real life. She is 100% a sweetheart, very genuine, very caring, very generous, just very open and, um, and positive and happy. She's, she's a keeper. She's an absolute gem. So I love supporting a woman-owned business, especially one that's run by a woman like Sabrina. She's amazing. I absolutely love putting you guys here because of the symmetry behind me. I don't know, I'm just loving it. Um, so I just picked up, I don't need an entire bottle of wine, but I mean, there's no room service at this hotel. So I postmated some wine because I had to do that separately. And then there's this like, it's like brought in and you order stuff. I don't know, it wasn't super expensive, which was definitely a plus, no $14 lattes for me. Um, but so yeah, I ordered that, so I'm gonna eat my food and chill and edit and watch videos and TV and just have a relaxing time because you know, mamas don't get much time to themselves, so I'd rather like spend the time doing that. Um, and then tomorrow I'll have breakfast and then I'm gonna try and make like a lunch date uh, with some YouTuber friends and then, so I'm gonna organize that right now and I'll, I'll check in with you when I've got my food and I'm eating. Okay. The food came like literally five seconds after I stopped. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and eat and then I'm gonna organize tomorrow's activities before I fly home. I've already checked in for my flight, which is in 24 hours from now. And it'll be good to be home. Does anybody else order a whole bunch of food for themselves? And then when I ask for how many like cutlery sets you want, you put two so it makes it look like you're not a pig. <laughs> Just me? Okay. wandered off somewhere but I just got her table we're sitting outside it's gorgeous I love it beautiful day so I'm just walking now to I just had breakfast with Sabrina I didn't vlog it because I forgot um, and now I am heading to Lola Taverna it's Almost noon, and I'm going, it's a gorgeous day. Look at this. Beautiful weather, I'm adoring it. Um, incidentally, it's also nice weather in Houston. And I think actually the humidity is less in Houston right now, but I have to say today is an absolutely gorgeous day. Um, and so now I'm heading straight ahead to Lola Taverna. This is a very like Instagrammable spot. And um, I'm meeting another YouTuber, an Instagrammer named Beth tea and her topic I, if you want to call it that is um, watches which you know you guys know I'm into so of course I follow her and she's one of the few women talking about watch collecting in this in the air in, in the business in the um, in this arena so yeah look at this place so pretty look at that look who I'm here with it's Beth the Beth T on Instagram, and I'll link her channel down below. We're just having a quick little girls' lunch. This gorgeous restaurant called Lola Lola Taverna. It's a Greek. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not proving to be Greek. Cute Greek spot. Yeah, it's really cute. All the bougainvilleas, beautiful. And look at her gorgeous sunny yellow bag. But it's the perfect day to do so, right? Yeah. She knows was like, what color is this? And I was like, I think it's a bright ass yellow. Bright ass yellow. I think that's what they call it on the website. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Family. I miss them. And uh, so, uh, people 
can hear me, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. There are many more to come. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with me.